So you're working with Google Analytics, but some event parameters are just not showing up. Maybe you don't see them in the reports, or maybe you don't see them in the debug view. There are various reasons for that, and I will explain them in this video. Here I have a Google Tag Manager container. Inside that container, I have a Google Analytics 4 configuration tag, and also I have a test event. Together with this event, I'm sending a parameter that takes the data from the data layer. So one of the reasons why you might not see the event parameter in the debug view of Google Analytics is because maybe that data layer push with the parameter that you are looking for, for example, test parameter right here. So if that parameter is empty, meaning that it is an empty text, or it is not in the push at all, then Google Analytics will drop that parameter and it will not be visible in the debug view and of course in your reports. So for example, here, if I click on that test event, I will not see the test parameter right here because it was either empty or it was not there, meaning that it was undefined. So if you were actually expecting to get the parameter value in the data layer push, you should talk with the developer and he or she should identify the reason why that parameter is missing in the data layer push. The next possible reason why your event parameter is not working is timing when the data is pushed to the data layer. For example, here I have a test data layer push. That's the moment when my Google Analytics 4 tag is supposed to fire. And if I go to tags, I see that indeed the tag has fired. However, after this data layer push, there is another data layer push that pushes the test parameter value. My tag fired on the test event, but if I go to variables while having selected this event, the test parameter variable is undefined because at that moment, there is no test parameter in the data layer. That variable's value becomes available only from the next data layer push, but the tag has already fired. So in this case, the tag fired, but the parameter was not available there. That's why if I switch to values, I will see that the parameter does not have any value. Therefore, in Google Analytics, there will be no value as well. So to fix this, you should talk with a developer if you're using data layer pushes and ask him or her to change the order of the pushes or maybe ask to combine these two data layer pushes into one so that together with a test event, you would also get the parameter that you want. Another thing to mention is custom dimensions. If you are sending some custom parameter to Google Analytics 4, like we are doing right here, and you want to later use this parameter in the reports, you must register it as a custom dimension. Otherwise, you will not be able to use it in the reports. That parameter will be displayed in the debug view, but if you want to use it in the reports, you must register a custom dimension. So in this case, with the test event, we are sending a test parameter. That's why we would need to go to Google Analytics, then admin, then keep looking for data display and custom definitions, then custom dimensions and click create custom dimension. Here you will need to enter the name of the parameter. In my case, it is test parameter. So I can just call it like that, test parameter. I want this parameter to be applied only to that particular event where I'm sending it. That's why its scope should be event. And then here you should enter test parameter, which is exactly what I have in my tag. If you have a different parameter name, that different name should be right here. And then click save. So once you create a custom dimension and after you publish your changes in the Google Tag Manager container so that this test event would start tracking, then after 24 to 48 hours, you will start seeing the data in Google Analytics 4 reports. I mean, technically you can see the parameter for a while in, for example, real-time overview reports where you have the event count widget right here. You click on your event. You can see that event somewhere in the list. You can even click to see the value. So the event parameter, even without registering a custom dimension, will be visible here. Also, technically, after, let's say, 24 or 48 hours, you would be able to see the parameter in the events section. For example, if you click on the test event, I don't have it yet, so I will click on page view as an example. And then here you would be able to find that parameter if it was tracked in the last 30 minutes, but that's it. If you want to see that parameter in other reports, 
not necessarily in the last 30 minutes, then custom dimension is necessary. Speaking of time, another related reason is that after you create a custom dimension and after you have published your changes in Google Tag Manager, you will still need to wait for at least 24 or 48 hours to be able to see that data, that dimension in Google Analytics 4 reports. Because if you did all the steps that I have shown, but you did that, let's say, just several hours ago, that data will not be available yet in Google Analytics 4. So patience is also needed. Another thing to keep in mind is the length of the parameter value. While this is not technically in the realm of not working, you should still be aware of that. So let's say that I will update the test parameter value and I will just insert some very long text right here. Then if I click save and then I trigger the tag, so I will just push this data layer data, then the tag will fire here. We can click on the tag to see that the value is sent. But what you will see in the debug view is that the length of the parameter will be truncated to the first 100 characters. And here, if we click on the test event, and if I scroll down to the test parameter, I will see that the text is now shorter than it was in the tag right here. So if you're wondering why you're not getting full values of your event parameters, this behavior is expected. Another reason is related to a feature called modify events. So now my test event, it contains the parameter test parameter, its value is just test, but also in Google Analytics, if I go to admin, then go to events, then click custom configurations and then modifications, here I have a rule that looks like this. So if I click it, this rule will be looking for the event name that equals to test event. And then if it finds the parameter, it will modify it, but there is no new value, meaning that the new value will be empty. So let's take a look how Google Analytics will behave in this case. I will initiate a new data layer push. Then I click test just to see if the tag fired. It still sends this value. Well, whatever, we will keep this value because I forgot to refresh the preview mode. And now let me go to the debug view in Google Analytics 4. Here I have the test event. And if I click it, we will see that the test parameter is no longer here. Because if you remember one of the previous steps that I mentioned, Google Analytics drops parameters if they are empty or undefined. In this case, it is empty because of the modify events feature, it sets the new value to empty. And then the final tip of this video is related to server side tagging. If you're sending your Google Analytics requests from the website first to your server side container, and then from there you send to Google Analytics, then take a look at the Google Analytics tags inside your SGTM container. So I am already here and in tags, I will click on the Google Analytics tag. And here there is a section in the event parameters, which is called parameters to exclude. Here you or someone else who is working with the container can exclude certain parameters from being sent further to Google Analytics. So for example, if I am sending the test parameter in my web Google Tag Manager container, that parameter will be received with the incoming request, but this section will exclude the parameter and it will not be sent further to Google Analytics. Also, it's possible that maybe transformations are applied that affect the visibility of a parameter. So here I'm still in the server side container and in the transformation section, I have one transformation. This particular example does not affect the test parameter, but it's still worth taking a look. Maybe you will find something mentioning a particular parameter that is missing because transformations are built to allow users exclude particular parameters or modify them or add something additional. So if you're missing some parameters, this is definitely a place to take a look at. And that's the end of this video. If you found it useful, hit the like button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or GA4, then subscribe to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.